I've grown up with my mom making dal, which is also known as lentils. So dal has been an integral part of my diet as a Bengali. And what's so great about a freshly made bowl of moong dal is that it's rich in potassium, protein, and fiber. There are different types of dal recipes, and the distinct flavor of this particular recipe is from roasting the moong bean. So for this recipe, we'll need one and a half cups of yellow split moong bean, two dry red chilies, two Indian bay leaves, three to four cloves, three to four cardamom pods, two half inch long pieces of cinnamon, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, salt to taste, a cup of green peas, three to four green chilies, two tablespoons of clarified butter, which we call ghee, and of course water. So basically first you'll roast the lentils, then you'll saute the spices in ghee, then you'll cook the lentils with the spices and the green peas. Turn on the stove and heat the pan to medium hot. We sauteed everything in the pressure cooker, which we'll use later to steam the dal, just to reduce the amount of dishes that we need to wash at the end. Then add the mung bean. Stir constantly so that the beans roast uniformly. And this could take about 8 to 10 minutes depending on the temperature of your stove. Keep stirring until your dal takes on a brownish tinge. And then pour that out into a bowl. Let the pressure cooker cool down and then carefully wash the beans a couple of times with water, making sure that you drain them each time. And then set that aside. At this point, if you feel like you need to wash the pressure cooker, you can. And then wipe the inside dry and then put it back on the stove. Turn on the heat. And when it gets hot, add the ghee. As the ghee starts to melt, add the combined mixture of red chilies, bay leaf, cardamom, cloves, and cinnamon. And then stir that mixture about 15 to 20 seconds or until the aroma becomes really strong. Then add the cumin seeds. and stir until the seeds start to pop. Add the washed mung bean. Stir well to mix it with the spices. Add six to seven cups of water. Stir. Then add the turmeric powder. Salt. Cover the pressure cooker and start heating. Wait until your cooker builds to full pressure and then wait another 5 minutes on top of that. Then turn off the heat and allow the pressure to release. Carefully open the lid. Stir. Add the green peas. And the green chilies.
bring the entire mixture to a slow boil. Then turn off the heat and remove it from the stove. You can check for the salt at this time and add some more if you need to. And if you do add some more salt, then bring the mixture to a boil again so that you incorporate the salt evenly into the mixture. We added a teaspoon of ghee to enhance the flavor, but this is always optional. And that's it. You can serve the mung dal alone, or you can serve it with white rice or chapatis.